Everything I've worked for is about striving for excellence and building for future generations. In that way, it's not about the properties at all. It's about community. It's about the future. The Power of Baseball Award honors those who embody the positive character and level of achievement exemplified throughout the game of baseball. And Mr. Lerner, as the founding principal owner of the Washington Nationals, uh, is really the most deserving. And the truth is that, and I think Mr. Lerner would be the first to say this, it's really been a family effort. And so, you know, while we're honoring Ted tonight, you know, certainly Annette uh, and the rest of the family have been integral to the success that, that we are celebrating. My, my dad and my mother had a, a vision for how we would uh, work as a family and uh, be able to share um, our good fortune with others. And uh, that, that carries through today. My father was very much in favor of doing whatever it was that the community needed. And he's from Washington. He knows the city. There were things that just mattered to him. Sports mattered to him. The public schools mattered to him. Fitness, nutrition, education. All of those were just, there was great guidance for us. His love of his family is in everything he does every day. He is totally enamored of his grandchildren and now great-grandchildren and he taught us, because he felt so strongly about family, he taught us how that comes first. Ted is so, so dedicated to his family. Family is number one, number two, number three, it's everything for him. And it's not just his family, but the whole area, this whole Washington area is really part of his family. When I think about Ted Lerner, I think about no matter the pursuit, it is family first. And when the team was awarded to Washington, I believe Mr. Lerner really broadened the definition of family from day one. We felt we could do something really special. And this neighborhood, there really wasn't a neighborhood. And look what's blossomed out of it. It's amazing with the amount of apartment buildings and office buildings and restaurants. And it's everything anybody could have hoped for the revitalization of this area. We're very proud to be a a member of the neighborhood. Ted, by building this wonderful ballpark that the Nationals play in, made us better baseball fans, but more important, he made us better Washingtonians, better citizens of the city that he, more than anyone else, has made in its modern form. The power of baseball is a real thing. And it was not just about building a great team on the field, it was also to engage our fan base, to give back to the community that we are all a part of. That is a beautiful reflection of who I think, of, of what I thought my father wanted us to accomplish. When you're a player and you're told to, you know, reach out and do things in your community, you know, it's a lot easier to do that when you see your ownership group being a part of the community. The Youth Academy has been unbelievable. The fields they've built around the area, their action in the community is, is enviable. He truly feels that the team doesn't belong to us. It belongs to everybody in the community. He sees that now in terms of generations of kids that get to grow up with this. He had it as a kid, and I think he wanted to give it to his larger extended family, which is the Washington community. We're as proud of what we've done in the community as what we've accomplished on the field all the way to the World Championship. Great. Great. Yeah! If our family has a legacy, it'll be that we accomplished so much in, in the community and set a beautiful platform for the future. The true measure of excellence is not what we have achieved for ourselves, but what it enables us to do for others.